welcome to Wendy's Lookbook. We are in New York City um, at Bryan Park, which is the former home to Fashion Week. But we're on our way to a Harper's Bazaar exhibit, and I just want to share with you my outfit of the day. I really appreciate outfits that have a soft juxtaposition. And here I have a pastel light pink top, and the delicate nature of it pairs really well with the tough like motorcycle pants. Dream of our tough boots and our heavy masculine chain bag, and we're ready to go experience the exhibit. Behind me is the Harper's Bazaar A Decade Style Exhibit, and we have a very special opportunity to interview the Editor-in-Chief, uh, Glenda Bailey. So I can't wait to hear her perspective on fashion, style, and life, and I'm really nervous. I've never done an interview before, but I can't wait though. It'll be a lot of fun. Sunlight shifting through the trees started talking you mentioned that your your philosophy about fashion is having the woman feel beautiful like fashion is about feeling beautiful can you talk more about your philosophy yes absolutely because I really believe what fashion's about is feeling good about yourself and I think that so often people think that fashion and beauty is frivolous but I so don't believe that I, I think it's it's about bringing joy and happiness and I'm all for seeing clothes that um, look exquisitely beautiful and desirable, but I also want them to be wearable. It's like um, Albert Albas always says that um, it isn't food unless it's edible, and it isn't fashion unless it's wearable. And it's speaking from just having the aspiration of being a designer when you were younger and now working and mentoring, you probably have a lot of designers now. What advice or words of wisdom would you have for the young people who are watching who want to be a fashion designer you know, later? Well, first and foremost, I think you have to be 100% dedicated, you have to be realistic, and you have, you have to know your market and the woman that's going to wear your clothes. Or, or carry your accessories or wear your accessories uh, in, because it's so important to be focused. They see, because of TV, because uh, I'm, I'm sure because of all the social media coverage of fashion, I think people feel like it's actually quite an easy thing to achieve. Whereas there are so many established and talented designers still struggling today. Right, right. And, and just speaking about having that business mindset. Running a magazine is glamorous, I'm sure, but also there's so much business behind it as well. Well, one of the parts of, of my job, which I absolutely love, is playing matchmaker and, and, and being able to introduce young, new talent to come, and not necessarily young for that matter, it's, it's a great opportunity um, to be able to introduce people that are really talented, that um, are looking for a position and, and knowing companies that really need designers. It's an opportunity to be able to help the industry in a bigger way and that's um, something that I take very seriously and and I love to contribute to because anything that's, that's um, that helps our industry is, is going to help fashion. And for the, the bloggers out there and just fashion bloggers in general, um, we pull inspiration from magazines countlessly. Um, I'm just curious to know, are, are designers also looking at the blogging world? Of course, of course, because I think um, it's a perfect marriage really because uh, I'm producing a magazine uh, with a lead time of three months 
and and you can react so immediately to what's going on. I, I think that now so many people are getting their news online and through uh, social media. A sense of immediacy, which is so important, and you get a chance to react and have a voice, whereas mine is a longer perspective. <laughs> Thank you so much. Well, you're so welcome. I enjoyed the conversation oh. very much, and I hope you enjoyed the book. <laughs> you know, Glenda Bailey, I respect her so much, and I think it's very hard to run a business and to run a magazine with passion and vision, and I just deeply respect women who are in that leadership position. So, it's so refreshing to hear her perspective on fashion and style. Thank you so much for being with me, and I will see you soon on YouTube land. Bye!